Number three, calculate the molecular or the formula mass of each of the following, and then we have letter E. So in this case, we have to find the molecular formula mass for C12H22O11, which is sucrose, aka cane sugar. This is like the granulated white sugar that you would use uh, for baking. Let's figure out what the mass is, the molecular mass or the formula mass. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this a little bit bigger, just so I could work with it. Okay. And now, whenever you want to find out a molecular mass or just any molar mass or a formula mass of a whole compound, the first thing you have to do is just find out how many of, of each element you have in the compound. So for example, I see three different elements here. I have a C, which stands for carbon. I have an H, which is hydrogen, and I have an O. So I have three different elements in my formula. So I'm just going to write them out, C, H, and O. Now the next thing you got to do is you got to tell me, or you know, write down on paper, how many of each do you have? So for the carbon, I see that I have a 12 next door. That means that I have 12 carbons. For the hydrogen, I have a 22 next door. That means that I have 22 hydrogens. And for the oxygen, I have an 11 next door to it. So that means that I have 11 oxygens. Okay, that was pretty easy. The next thing, you're going to take how many you have and you're going to multiply by the mass that's found on the periodic table. Now I drew out a little nice periodic table of what I see on my periodic table for hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Um, these numbers up top might be a little bit different. Uh, that's okay. Different periodic tables round differently, but just, just, uh, the answer should be very, very, very similar to mine at the end if you're using your numbers. But now for every element on the periodic table, there's usually two numbers, right? There's a whole number and then there's like these decimal numbers. Which one is the mass number? It's the decimal ones. These decimal numbers represent the average masses of each element. So I'm going to say that this is the atomic mass, we can say, or we can say the molecular mass. Maybe I'll just say atomic mass. And in this case, since we're talking about the mass on such a small level, molecular or atomic, right, we're going to be using AMU. That's a unit that you can use for these values on the periodic table. These uh, whole numbers are the atomic number, not the mass. The atomic number is the number of protons of that element. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my mass numbers and multiply by how many I have. So for carbon, each carbon is 12.01 AMU. Each hydrogen is 1.008 AMU, and then each oxygen is 16. Okay, so let's find out what this is. 12 times 12.01, that's like 144.12, I think, but Kalki, Kalki will, will tell us. Yeah, 144.12, and that's AMU. We have 22 times 1.008, so that's 22.176 AMU. And then we have 11 times 16, which is 176.00 AMU. Okay, so these are the individual amounts of each element. So there's a total of 144.12 AMU of carbon, and then the same for the other elements. But in this case, they wanted us to find the molecular or formula mass of the whole compound. So what do you think we have to do with these numbers? Ah, yeah, we got to add them up. And that would be the answer. So let's see. 144.12 plus 22.176 plus 176. So I get a total of 342.296 and that's in AMU. Um, if you wanted to do sig figs, 
um, let's see, the least number of sig figs after the decimal is two. So technically you could only have two spots here. So this six would round the nine up to a 10, which means that the two would go to a three. So technically if you are doing sig figs, it would be 342.30. But I'm just gonna leave the other answer here for now. And that's it. So 342.296 AMUs, that is the molecular or the formula mass for sucrose, aka the sugar we use in baking, cane sugar. So guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments if it did. Um, you guys have been awesome. This is such a, a, a cool journey helping you guys out in your chem classes. And if you are in physics or math and you need help in those, go check out our channel. We have videos for that as well. Um, you could also check out all the playlists that we have uh, for physics, math, and chem. That's on our channel as well. We have thousands of videos, so we try to keep everything organized for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great, great day and keep studying hard. All right. I believe in you guys. Let's, let's do this. See you later.